In August 2024, a new version of the Home Assistant Community Store was released, Hacks 2.0. If you've been using Home Assistant in your smart home for a while, then you've probably heard of Hacks and are probably even using it. If you're new to the space, now might be a good time to check it out. In this video, I'm going to briefly explain what Hacks is and what it isn't, how to install it into your Home Assistant, and if you're already using Hacks, I'll take you through some of the changes between version 1 and version 2, as well as show you how to upgrade. Let's take a look. Home Assistant is an automation platform, kind of like an operating system for your house. You can add to this platform in a similar way to how you can install applications onto your phone or computer's operating system. Home Assistant uses the concept of add-ons, which are third-party applications and services that can run alongside Home Assistant. These are things like media servers, security camera platforms, and databases. These are generally whole applications, and Home Assistant just offers you a convenient place to run them. It also has the concept of integrations, which talk to other third-party services. These integrations connect to your Home Assistant to different things like your Philips Hue lights, your local weather forecast servers, your smart blind platform, or your Google Calendar. Home Assistant has thousands of integrations built into it, and they're all thoroughly tested by Home Assistant and are created to a high quality standard. These integrations get updated alongside Home Assistant with each monthly release. But not every developer who wants to create a custom integration for their home can be asked jumping through all of the hoops required to get the integration added to Home Assistant. It's a lot of work and a big commitment. It has to be because everyone wants to make sure that Home Assistant is stable, fast, and works how it should. So in 2019, the Home Assistant Community Store was born to provide a way for integration developers to share integrations that maybe aren't developed to the same standard as those that are built into Home Assistant itself. The integrations are installed into your home at your own risk, but provide a way for developers to ship fast version updates outside of the normal Home Assistant release cycle, or to let them do things that Home Assistant otherwise wouldn't allow. It also gives you a way to access community-created dashboard cards and themes that you can use to further customize your Home Assistant to how you want it. Now, just because these are community-created integrations doesn't mean that they're bad or unstable. It just means that Home Assistant can't guarantee that they're safe and will always work the way they're intended. Installing Hacks gives you access to tens of thousands of extra integrations that can make your smart home way more powerful than ever before. And I recommend that anyone who has been using Home Assistant for a while checks it out. I've recommended dozens of Hacks integrations on this channel over the years. And it's now even easier to install than ever before, and the instructions are all on the Hacks website, which I've linked in the description below. The website shows you how to install it on all the different types of Home Assistant installations, but for this video I'm going to assume that you're using the Home Assistant operating system. To install it, click the My link and it should launch your Home Assistant and ask you if you want to add a missing repository. Click Add and then click Install. Start the add-on and then go to your integrations page under Settings. If you now search for the Hacks integration and try and add it, you won't find it. That's because you first need to restart Home Assistant and clear your browser cache. This is something that you're going to need to get used to, because when you use Hacks there's a lot of restarting and clearing of the browser cache. Don't skip the browser cache clearing either, like we've all been tempted to do, and rely on just pressing the refresh button a bunch of times. We've all tried it, we've all failed, just clear your cache. Or is it cache? Anyway, once you've restarted Home Assistant and cleared out the files, you can try adding hacks again and you should see it in the list. Click to install it, and now you'll need to agree to these terms and warnings. Like I said, these are untested integrations that may not always behave. If you install something from Hacks that breaks your system, you need to fix it yourself. But don't worry, this has barely ever happened to me, and if you stick with the integrations that people you trust have recommended, you'll probably be fine. Once you've agreed to the terms, you need to link your Hacks to your GitHub account, because most Hacks integrations are stored in GitHub. If you don't have a GitHub account, you'll need to create one first. It doesn't cost anything, and it's not hard to do. Once it's installed, Refresh a few times and you should see the Hacks icon in your Home Assistant navigation bar. If you don't see it, that's right, restart Home Assistant and clear your cache. And that's it, you've done it. You now have access to a whole world of new integrations and features for Home Assistant. If you're already familiar with Hacks and have been using version 1 for a while, then you can pretty easily upgrade to version 2. 
Before you do this though, I highly recommend taking a backup, because there are a few breaking changes alongside the new improvements. Version 2 is quite a big upgrade when compared to version 1, and it feels a lot more like it belongs in modern day Home Assistant now. The old hacks had some clunky user interfaces, and there were tons of clicks involved to navigate around it. The windows and modals also randomly resized, it was a UI nightmare. The new version leverages the Home Assistant data tables, so you can filter, sort, and customize the view of your hacks integrations. They've also made downloads faster, added a few more entities to make automating things easier, and added the ability to download template sensor. Another cool update is showing you all the updates in the settings menu alongside your Home Assistant and device updates. Everything in one place. I love it. There are a few breaking changes that I mentioned, and you need to be aware of them before you upgrade. This is why I recommend taking that back up first. The notable ones are that you need to be running a new version of Home Assistant, you can't configure it in YAML anymore, and you can't access the hacks files endpoint when using themes. I was a bit worried at first when I saw that the sensor platform had been removed, because I have tons of hacks integrations that provide me sensor entities, but since the upgrade they've all been working perfectly fine, and I actually think it refers to the fact that hacks itself no longer has the update sensors it used to have, so if you've been using those in automations or dashboard elements to notify you of pending updates, they're going to break. Either way, it's unclear to me, and perhaps they could reword that on the website. If you know what it means, can you please let us know in the comments below? Upgrading hacks was actually pretty dang easy. Just open hacks, and you should see a pending update for the new version. I personally forgot to take a backup before I did this, and just went ahead and YOLO clicked update. Now what do we do next? That's right, restart Home Assistant and clear your cache. Now, the next time you open Hacks, you should see the new version loaded up. And there you go, Hacks comes into the modern world. What are some of your favourite Hacks integrations? I always love learning things from my viewers, so please let me know in your top three in the comments below. Whilst you're down there, click the thumbs up button if this video was helpful to you, and subscribe to the channel if you want to know more about Home Assistant. I regularly release videos about home automation and smart homes in general. By clicking subscribe, you'll know when I've released a new video, and then together we can make your home smarter.